Okay, we're going to uh, dive in to Planning Center Online. You'll hear me say PCO. That's just short for Planning Center Online. But we're going to dive into Planning Center Online. And as you can see on my screen, we are going to be starting with a fresh, clean, nothing on it. You can look here. You see no headers, no items, no songs, no videos, no media, anything. You look on Teams. There's nobody scheduled. There's no categories off to the right. And you may be thinking, well, I already know how to use Planning Center, and I've been doing it. And this is just another way for you to see. You may see some things today that you thought you could do differently and or some things that you're like, well, I already do that. All things are great. Again, we just wanted to provide another resource, another way for you to maybe look at Planning Center Online. If it helps you be more an effective planner and scheduler, then great, mission accomplished. But let's dive in. I want to show you. So we're going to look at Quick Keys right here. Quick Keys are amazing. I suggest everyone using them. It only speeds up time. H for header. I'm real big on headers. I really think everyone needs to use them. I'm going to type in pre-service. I'm going to hit enter. It's going to kick it over here. Now you see this gray bar that says pre-service. Well, in most cases, we do have a countdown. So this is going to be I for item. I'm going to hit I for item. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to type in countdown. And we'll say two minutes. One thing that's important when you do something like this, you see this tab right here? It says during. That would not be accurate in a pre-service countdown. We want to go to before, right? We're not going to get into these items down here quite yet. We're just building we're just building this template. We're just building this flow from the beginning. So once that's all done, we're going to hit X here. And it's going to put it over here. Now we have count down right here. So what's next? What's typically after a countdown? We'll just say opening worship. I'm going to hit H for header again. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to type in opening worship. And I'm going to hit X or enter, whichever one works for you. And then now we're into opening worship. So, you know, what comes here in this category after this header would be your songs. So let's go ahead and just go two songs. S for song. I'm going to hit S on my keyboard. Then you're going to see all these songs pop up over here. Let's see. Let's do Battle Belongs. Great song. We'll choose Battle Belongs. Kicks it in. We're not going to worry about keys in this instance for now. But, and we're not going to worry about who's singing it. All those things that will come later. Again, we're just building it. So we're going to throw in Battle Belongs. That's our opening song. And then we're going to go to, let's throw in another song. So I'm going to hit S for song. And we're going to go to, let's say, Good Grace. Grace. Again, not worrying about keys. Okay, so you see how it threw it up in the top here. It's just easy. Get your mouse, click, and... Right here, drag down. Now we're here. Okay, so we're into Battle Belongs, and now we're into Good Grace. I'm gonna hit Exit, and there, there we are. You can also click and drag out of that screen on the right side. You can always click and drag at any point, but I just wanted to show you that real fast. Okay, so in so so far we have pre-service, we have countdown, opening worship, two songs. What comes next for you? We're gonna pretend we need to go into hosting. I want to I want to break this up. And the reason why I want to break it up, specifically talking about headers, is because it's important to, as you're reading this, that it's organized. As a, an experience director, an A1, A2, show caller, whatever, stage managers, lighting, whatever the case may be, when I look at a 60-minute experience, my eye needs to go right away to what I need to find. Headers are great for that. Headers are great for organization. So again, I'm going to hit H for header, and I want to say we're going to go into hosting. Okay, so here we are with hosting. You can see it through it in there. It's going to make sure Good Grace falls back into there. Now I'm in the I. And this is going to say welcome and info. We all have a welcome and info. Again, make sure your time is set. Uh, we're going to go three minutes X. And now we're here. Welcome and info. Okay, so maybe your host wants to go to a video. Maybe your host throws to a video during welcome. So we want to hit M for media, which is going to be all things video, and let's type in next steps, whatever you may call this or whatever at your church, but for here, we're going to call this next steps promo. This is just how to get involved. It's one minute there. X out of that. 
And then let's say we want to close this whole segment with prayer. So I'm going to I again for item. We're going to go here. We're going to type in, not that. We're going to type in prayer. Let's, let's make this 30 seconds. And we're going to exit out of here. And now we're into prayer. Okay, so out of prayer, we want to go back into worship. So we're going to hit header again. We're going to call this um, worship. Again, call it what you need to call it. I just want to show you the importance of utilizing headers. We'll say worship before message. doesn't matter. It can be pre-worship pre or wh whatever. Be, be creative. Use whatever you use for your culture, your titles, whatever. We're just showing you this for now. And we want to go back into uh, one song. So I'm going to hit S. Or we may want to do good grace again. We may want to do good grace tag. We're going to go ahead and throw good grace in just for just to have it there. And we'll show later how to knock that down in time. Or we can actually do that right here. We'll say two minutes and 30 seconds. You could put in description right here. We'll show this here in a minute. But just for now, we'll go say this is a uh, shorter version. Those notes will come in band notes here in a few minutes. But we'll say exit there. Okay. Now we're going to hit header again. This is going to be the message. This is going to take us into the message portion of our service. We'll hit message there. So as you can see, your flow, your plan is falling into line. It's being organized. We're build, building a detailed uh, plan here from scratch. Message, we're going to hit M. Why are we hitting M? Because a lot of messages use bumper videos. I know not all of them do, but we're going to use a bumper video for uh, this example, to go into the message. Hit X right here. Now we have a bumper video. We're going to hit item again. We're going to type in message. And then we're going to do a 30-minute message. And we're going to hit X. We're going to click and drag that into the proper space, which would be right here. Now, let's be detailed. How do we end a message? Most messages end with some sort of prayer prayer response time. For this example, we're going to keep it inside of the, more, the message portion of this, and we're going to call this the response time. That sounds good. Response time. This is going to be an additional two minutes outside of pastors or your communicators 30-minute time spot. We'll go message. See, again, it kind of kicks that out of place. We're just going to make sure Double check artwork here, message, bumper video, response time. Now, if you want to get detailed with response time, because inside of that response time, you may have music, you can either create a header here, call this response time, learn how to spell here, X, response time now is here, response time goes down here, and here we can start adding in some more songs for people coming down front to pray or whatever your response time looks like. We just want to put it in our PCO flow. Anything and everything that you do inside of your experience should always be on Planning Center. And so that's all we're doing here. So let's go to S for song and let's type in nothing else. Nothing else is here. And we really just kind of need this time to be around four minutes to make sure we're falling inside of our time for our total uh, service time. Nothing else, we're in S again, and we're gonna type in, um, what a beautiful name. Type it in here, kick it in. X here, and we're just gonna, so you can see, I'm gonna show you this real fast. You can see I forgot to put a time in. And I also put in the wrong version of what a beautiful name. So this is great, so this is easy. You're just gonna click on that item. And now here's where I can fix things. We need this to be another four minutes. So I'm going to type in the time, four minutes. We also don't need it to be, what a beautiful name, that arrangement. So we're actually going to start over. What a beautiful name. We're going to find this arrangement. This would be a better arrangement for us. And we're going to type in four minutes here. We're going to hit X. Now we're back in line. So you can see as we're building the flow, response time is taking place. Now maybe some of us will go into a generosity portion of our service. And so we're going to go generosity again as a header. And we're going to type in item. And uh, we're going to call it generosity. And we want this to be 
Uh, let's for kicks and giggles. Let's make it three minutes. In tier. Now, as I'm building this, I do realize I forgot, and I left one thing out. Out of most messages too, with the response time, um, I like to see when I build PCO flows really a transition in the room from the majority of the content of the message to more of like a gospel. And I'm gonna tell you why in some videos down the road of why that's important. But I'm gonna go ahead and go to I, and I'm just gonna type in gospel. This is the gospel presentation. This is the communicator, the pastor has done majority of his message. And now he's transitioning to a time where uh, he's given the uh, congregation or those listening a, a chance to respond to the gospel. That's what I mean by just typing in gospel right here. And we'll say this is also uh, two minutes. And I want to see that more up into this section right here. Upper video, message, gospel. We're going to now give time for people to respond during worship. Out of that, someone's going to come back up on stage through generosity comments. And then the last thing we always, typically what I see in church work is some sort of dismissal or closing announcement. Again, it seems like it may be too much, but I just want these headers utilized. I don't want any confusion of flow and what those things look like. So anytime we transition to a new part of an experience, I personally advocate for headers all the time. Dismissal, I'm gonna go to I. I'm gonna just closing thoughts, two minutes. I'm gonna hit X. And now we have a uh, whole service plan built here on Planning Center from scratch, utilizing our quick keys again. PCO has this, it shows it on the plan down below here, and or you can Google these things. But just to go over them one more time, quick keys are very important. H for header, I for item, S for song, M for media.